All right, coming up next, we get to this lightweight tilt between Dominic Cruz and Alexander the Great Volkanovski. All right, so here he is right now at present, the best we have to offer at 145 pounds, the undisputed featherweight king, Alexander Volkanovsky. And you want to talk about a championship performance as betting underdog. A lot of people look at Rafael Dos Anjos back in the day against Showtime Pettis. How about what Volkanovsky did in outclassing Max Holloway to realize UFC gold? And he's just starting to put it all together. So it's a scary proposition for the rest of this featherweight division to think just how good this Volkanovski could be now, having made those improvements since winning the belt against him. All right, so here's the former UFC Bantamweight champion, Dominic Cruz. Injuries, of course, DC have been a huge part of the narrative. Unable to compete in 2012, 2013, 2015, 2017. Didn't fight in 2018. He is back tonight, and he believes he is ready to present the best version today. And when you talk about Dominic Cruz, you expect it, because even when he's away, you know that he's preparing himself to give you the best version of himself. His series with Uriah Faber, The Bad Blood, is something that we will always look back to whenever we think of his career. But it's those big moments, those bright, shining moments, the win over TJ Dillashaw after being away for years to reclaim the title. Those moments are the ones that will always stand out the most when you think about Dominic Cruz. And now our tale of the tape for this lightweight fight. Volkanovski is 31, Cruz is 34. He is two inches taller. Volkanovski will have a three inch reach advantage. All right, now with the official introductions, we go inside the octagon of Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Mergliata. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC lightweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding professional record of 25 wins, one loss. He stands five feet six inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Alexander the Great Volkanovski. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding professional record of. 24 wins, five losses. He stands five feet eight inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Fighting out of San Diego, California. All right, Grinton rules in the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. Want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, match your parents, my friend. that we can put inside the octagon. They are so well-rounded, they have every skill, and that is gonna be on display tonight in this team match. Good series of punches by him there. He has been busy throughout. He's doing a great job with the hands. He looks like a professional boxer out there. So both guys landing it well here. Good action early. 
Great punch. Nice left hook there from Volkanovski. Volkanovski is such a phenomenal fighter. I believe his confidence is what truly carries him to be so spectacular, to be so successful. He believes with every part of himself that he is the absolute best fighter in the world. Well, fear is not a factor for this striker. Coming out swinging early as we expected. Everything being thrown with fight ending in He throws everything so hard that he said to us, when we talked to him earlier in the week, he goes, I'm not afraid of anything. I don't care if I get taken down, as long as I get to put some leather on the guy that I'm fighting for. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. Volkanovski gets the double leg takedown. Massive takedown to tip lane. Oh, big combination of ground and pound strikes here, DC. This could be the beginning of the end. I mean, you gotta be very careful when you take these big ground and pound strikes. You need a controlled posture on the bottom. And if you're the top guy, the guy that's looking to finish, continue to gain posture and rain down big strikes on your opponent. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you gotta be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Well, hard to win fights in mixed martial arts from the bottom, but nice work here in that position by Dominic Cruz. Oh, this is where you don't want to be, though. Good work from the top here by Volker. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here, and he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. Well, the ground and pound has been on point tonight. Good work here by Volkanovski. All right, so good ground and pound by him here. Certainly staying busy, and not just busy, but effective. You can just throw punches to keep the referee off of you. This guy is throwing punches to be effective, to throw damaging strikes. He's doing a fantastic job. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. You gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. So three minutes have flown off the fight clock there. All right, close guard now. You gotta be careful though, he's got a lot of submissions off his back. Lands a strike now from the bottom, nice work there by Dominic Cruz. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Well, working pretty effectively from the top here. Nice grounded pound by Volkanovski. Oh, nice job using his strength there to posture up. We'll see what he can do now. He's going to start looking to land big shots from the top. All right, working inside the closed guard now. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. All right, so pretty good damage here with the ground and pound. Nothing superficial about these strikes. They are intending to hunt. Oh, yeah, he's landing very accurately, and he's landing to get damage off. Well, the numbers are unofficial, but they are strong. 97 total strikes have landed for Alexander Volkanovsky. All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. Keeping busy here off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Lands with the ground and pound. 20 seconds to go. All right, north-south position here. We'll see if the crowd can be mature about this, DC. All right, now we take a look back at some of the action in that previous round, DC. A lot to like on both sides. Really. I mean, both were intent on going forward. And what happens when nobody wants to take a step back? They meet in the middle. That's exactly what they did, and they both found success over the course of that round. All right, round two is here. Let's see how it plays out. Dominic Cruz. 
and Alexander Volkanov. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Big front lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one? He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Well, Alexander Volkanovsky has never lost a pro fight at 145 pounds, and if his boxing is any indication, that is a record that is probably going to hold up after tonight. I mean, Volkanovsky follows the game plan to a team. Whatever you set out in front of him, he is going to do, and he's going to do it at the highest level. We saw that in this fight against Max Holloway when he became the UFC featherweight champion. Well, outstanding output and connection thus far. 127 total strikes have landed for Alexander Volkanovsky. And landing with 63% accuracy. How about that? Against Dominic Cruz. And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Oh, beautiful strike there as he lands up top, and he does so right after catching the leg. So maybe you thought he would catch the leg and go for a takedown. Instead, he goes for the punch, and he certainly found the range on that one. Oh, lands a stiff punch there. Nice connection. Oh, nice land. Just misses with the jab. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Counter punch landed there by Volkanovski. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? And that left hook landed on the button. Good series of strikes for him there. Staying busy and staying accurate. I mean, the accuracy is unbelievable. Big ball punch land. Now he gets back to range. Just missed with the left there. Flips the punch. That kick blocked by Volkanovski. Oh! Big shots exchanged in the pocket there. So a much different approach from him here in round two. Took him a while to find the range, get in his striking rhythm. He has found it here, and as a result, has really picked up the pace in round two. Well, they made all the right reads here tonight, and there's another one. Beautiful read on the leg strike as he catches it and then returns fire with a punch of his own. So they have got the timing down here at this point of the fight. Pinpoint accuracy on that kick. No wind-up, no tell, just a brutal kick. Well, the champ Volkanovski continues to keep his opponent guessing here tonight. You lower the... Yeah, looks a little wobbly on his feet. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Holding on to him here, not really doing too much, perhaps just looking to recover. Oh, spinning back fist. He didn't telegraph that one at all. All right, so he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo meal, right? No three-piece, no soda. It's one and done more often than not. John, don't you come to me without a combo. I want the whole platter. Give him the whole platter, young man. Put some punches together. Make this guy take the whole thing. Give him more than one strike. You have now found the set of punch. The jab is landing consistently. Find something that's going to go behind it. Oh, great head movement there. Slips his head off the center line, and defensively, that's exactly what you're looking for. It's almost like he can telegraph when the punch is coming. And when he sees it, he just makes a slight little movement, right or left, to get out of the way and avoid those shots. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, both, both landing. Oh, nice high kick. Oh! Just misses there with the left. Oh, you gotta like the output here. So aggressive with the strikes, he continues to light him up. Gotta be careful here not to gas out, of course, but you gotta like the offense we're seeing from him, especially in this oh! round. Oh! Oh! Oh, straight right! Oh! What a fight 
so far. All right, so an entertaining five minutes. Let's look back at some of the highlights, DC, and I'd imagine a lot of these replays are going to be rooted in that kicking game that was on full display. Absolutely. You're going to see a lot of different techniques, but the kicking was the key to him getting ahead in this fight. He's out ahead now. He needs to stay the course and continue to do that as the fight goes on. That was beautiful, man. All right, here we go as our next round gets I'm underway. Ready. His strong leg packs so much power that even when he doesn't throw it full throttle, you see he's able to inflict damage. We'll see if he can keep it going here in this He round. doesn't throw it full power, but even when he faints it, he draws out reactions from his opponents because they don't want to get hit with any more of those kicks. It's a sight to behold. Well, just as he did the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. All right, so a nice job there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Oh, beautifully placed in time kick there by Cruz. Well, no surprise as he connects once again, and that looked like it landed right on that cut. Right on the cut, and he's targeted it, right? He's looking, you can see him almost putting a laser beat on that cut and just puts his hands on it. It doesn't take much. He's just keep making it split, showing his opponent that he has no mercy. How about these numbers, champ? Just over 200 total strikes have landed for Alexander Volkanovsky. Well, on a pretty good connection rate thus far, hitting on one out of every two. The accuracy rate is 50% against Dominic Cruz. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. And that one certainly found the target. All right, good job by him there to raise the guard and protect. Oh, oh he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got a pressure. He's got to go chase that finish down. Oh, he might be out. That one appeared to stun him. Well, he's up, but he is hurting for certain. The finish could come at any time. Look at how fast. The only person I can do this to is maybe John. John, there's a, there's a weight difference. I don't know if you know jiu-jitsu much. You miss a lot of your classes. If I'm going to do this to anybody, it's Eddie. Oh, nice work from the bottom. Tags him with the punch. Volkanovski's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swell. Well, he continues to manhandle him here on the ground. Well, he's more than content to work off of his back, DC, where he has been a magician in his UFC career. The Dominator gets caught with that punch. He'd be wise to get those hands up. Well, you've got to admire the urgency here. He is trying to keep the judges out of it, lighten up his opponent left and right. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively protecting the head and sort of maybe letting his opponent gas out a little bit with all the volume. His opponent sees the target, but he can't get to the target. So he'll continue to throw, and he'll continue to wear on his own gas tank. Nice punch by Volkanovski. Nice right hand. Kick to the body by Volker. Stuff the takedown, no problem. Oh, huge knee to the head. An uppercut made it. Oh, he lands the Superman punch. How about it? Well, the right hand has been there at times, not that time. Really timing his shots nicely, good tempo, very accurate, finding the range with relative ease. Yeah, he's doing a great job of really overwhelming his opponent with activity. Oh, nice punch there by Cruz. Oh, he got absolutely bludgeoned. That's as good a combination as we have seen out of him here tonight. The last time I saw a combination this good, it was Donald Cerrone beating up on Rick Stewart. Man, look at the redness now, almost immediately on the right side of his body. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. And he landed the right hand there. Nice kick. These guys are going at it. Oh, he landed that knee to the midsection. Got to think his opponent's going to feel that one in the morning. And he's going to continue to throw that strike because he knows that his opponent can't take many of them. 
30 seconds now to go in the round. Effective punch there by Volker. And he caught right, it. Leg attack here. Nice job to catch the leg and work it into a takedown. Well, anytime you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Right, no more, no more, no more, no more. All right, man, we got ourselves a fight here. All right, we knew this. Don't worry about the cut. We got it under control. Just do not focus on the blood. Don't worry about the cut. Well, I'm not sure the extent to which he has recovered, but we do see the end of the round. DC, talk us through the replay. Well, he's a tough guy. He's going to make it to the stool. He's going to survive unless you put him completely out of there. Unfortunately, he's in there with a guy that does have that ability. to rain down some ground strikes. Yeah, the ground and pound will be a plenty from this position. Well, you got to be working off of your back. He's certainly doing so here. Nice punch. Man, this is some serious ground and pound here, DC. He's not just staying busy for the sake of staying busy. These strikes are doing that. Oh, yeah. No pity pat to this guy. This guy's trying to land, and he's trying to land effective strikes. the stand-up now, both fighters upright. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. Oh, Volkanovski's lower jump, man. He's a jump. He's first man. Oh! Oh, he tasted that knockout life! He tasted that knockout life! Oh! Woo! Woo just the way he drew it up as he gets the knockout victory here tonight. It's hard to land a strike more flush than he did right there, and I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming, so he'll see the replay and probably shake his head, but ultimately this is a huge result and a huge win for that fighter here tonight. And there he is, all smiles. What a huge knockout he turned in here tonight. That is one they'll be talking about for some time. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mergliot has called a stop to this contest at 1 minute, 27 seconds of round number 4. Playing the winner by knockout, Alexander the Great Monodoski! Well, he's smiling ear to ear, and why not after a knockout like that? I need to take it to the after party tonight. I mean, this is what dreams are made of. You dream of the knockout like this, and then the party after where you and all your coaches get to celebrate the great handiwork.